I'm going to tell you a bit about myself. I'm married. I've been married for 19 years. Wow. Woo! Yeah. Fun fact, I'm extremely anemic. That means I bruise really easily. That's what my husband wants me to say. <laughs> my husband hates that too. <laughs> He's like, people are going to think I beat you. I said, no, they're not. Look at you. Come on. <laughs> I have a gay daughter. Yeah. She, thank you. She's poly, bi, gender fluid. Her pronouns are she, they. And I was like, can mommy just call you gay? Is that okay? <laughs> I think it's more important that I know the whole title so I can answer it correctly if I get pressed on it. Like if I say to someone, I have a gay kid. And they go, oh, what kind? <laughs> My other daughter is six years younger, and she came out as Christian. <laughs> now, my husband is atheist, and I'm agnostic, so we've not raised the kids in any kind of religion. But my husband's incredibly supportive of our gay daughter. He's like, anything you want, anything you need, we love you so much. But of our Christian daughter, <laughs> he's like, everything you're feeling is a lie. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to be progressive. I'm trying to be more progressive. I'm trying to learn from my gay daughter. She said, Mom, sometimes I like girls. And sometimes I like boys. And sometimes I like girls that are boys. And sometimes I like boys that are girls. And sometimes I like people that aren't boys or girls. And I said, stop. <laughs> I am trying to be supportive. <laughs> like you sound like a whore. <laughs> <laughs> now explain it again to mommy slowly. Oh and at each point, tell me how many people are involved. <laughs> when my 11 year old was eight, she was dead set against swearing. She would hide swear words inside of other words. Like she said, Jessica's being a real obituary today, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> she came home from school. She said, someone at school said the S word. And I said, poop? And she said, no, the other S word. So I said, a disparaging thing to say about Hispanics? And she goes, what's that word? <laughs> said, okay. Why don't we say the word one time, and then we'll always know that that's the other S word. And she said, slut. <laughs> so I got down her level, I looked her in the eyes, I said, babe, sex work is work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she doesn't hate swearing anymore. She loves swearing now. I heard her in a room playing Minecraft. She said, uh, I'll skull fuck your mother with peanut butter and I hope she's allergic. Babe, <laughs> 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 <Hey>, you okay? <laughs> she goes, I'm just playing. <laughs> My older daughter is a very stubborn child. When she was five, she decided she wanted to call her vagina her front butt. <laughs> <laughs> And her pediatrician was incensed with me. How can you not teach her the proper names of her body parts? I said, look, lady, she's got her whole life to find out it's called a vagina. She's not going to be 27 like fuck me in the front butt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be birthing a stone for my body apparently sometime soon. I'm holding off on a gender reveal party till I know how I want to identify. I assume it's male because it's giving me a pain in my back, <laughs> my pussy, and my crack. <laughs> uh, I'm a freelance writer during the day, um, so I got this job where I had to write funny descriptions for a dick joke themed novelty t shirt company. <laughs> There was like 60 shirts, it's fine. But these shirts were terrible. Like, who here by a show of hands would wear a shirt that says Big Clit Energy? <laughs> <laughs> here, there, demographic. <laughs> oh, this one shirt got me, this fucking shirt got me, it said, My dick will put your ass to sleep. <laughs> and I have questions. <laughs> 
Like, what girl or guy is getting fucked in the ass and just takes a nap? <laughs> so I think my husband and I are doing it wrong. <laughs> Could you imagine? Babe, I can't sleep. <laughs> Way in that nice rock about baby way that I like. I have a question for you guys. You ever take a shit so big your next thought is, I should weigh myself? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta get out of here. So I'm gonna give you one more before I go. Um, my baby sister Tony was born four months premature, and she was born with half a heart and one lung, and she had to live in an incubator for the first year of her life and they said she would live past the age of five. But she's 37 now. Wow. And she's a mom, yeah, and a lawyer. So every year at her birthday, I call her up and I say, you're supposed to be dead. <laughs> 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 <laughs>